So I recently showed you guys how to solve this cubic equation by using cosine. Yes, cosine. Which is kind of surprising, right? We can actually solve a cubic equation by using trigonometry. If you want to see that video, which is on my main channel, I will have the link in the description for your convenience. But for this one in particular, we don't have to do anything like that. We can just solve this with the most reasonable way, which is the rational zero theorem. And I will also show you guys how to factor this cubic. So here we go. Firstly, we have one side equal to zero already, and all the coefficients here are integers. And the best part is the coefficient of x cubed is one. So we just have to pay attention to 48 and think about all the factors of 48. 1 times 48 is 48, so they are factors of 48. So I'm just going to check if 1 works. So I'm going to plug in 1 into the x, and let's see if that will give me 0. But it's not, because this is 1 minus 28, which is negative 27, plus that. This is not going to give me 0. And once you put 1, you can also check negative 1, but you can see it's not going to work either. Next, 2 times 24 will give us 48. So uh, let me try 2. So I'm going to plug in 2 into all the x's. Here, we're in luck because this is 8 and this is minus 56. That's negative 48 plus this 48 is indeed equal to 0. So, once we know an answer, I will just say, know that x equals 2 is a root. Sometimes you may also hear the term 0, meaning you're plugging this number into all the x's, you end up with 0. Root and 0 are the same thing. It's pretty much saying this is an answer to this equation. Now, once we have a root to the equation, Usually, people will just proceed by doing polynomial long division or synthetic division. You know, this kind of box thing, right? You can do it like that, no problem. But I have a video on this already. I will show you how to factor this. It's going to make you think. So have a look. Okay, x cubed, right? That's our leading term. If we have x equals 2 as an answer, then we must somehow produce minus 2 cube because when we have difference of 2 cubes, we can factor it and we get x minus 2 and stuff like that. Okay? So, with that being said, this is what we are going to do. Put down the x cube and then really want to have minus 2 cube, which is minus 8. Okay? And then I'll continue, we have the minus 28x, and this is plus 48. But you see earlier, I subtracted an 8 right here. On the same side of the equation, I will have to add the 8 back, so that this and that will give us 0. That wouldn't change the equation. And then the right-hand side is still equal to 0. Now, Pay attention to this part. This part right here is exactly what we're trying to do the x cubed minus 2 cubed. Okay? This part, keep it for a little bit. And then of course, we can combine 48 plus 8, which is 56. And that's equal to 0. Now, let me remind you guys how we factor a difference of two cubes. Right here, when we have a cube minus b cube, this right here gives us a minus b times a squared. And be careful here. If it's a minus, you will first get a minus and then a plus here. And then a b, there's no two, right? It's just a b. And then finally, it's plus b squared. This is the difference of two cubes. And if you want to see more tutorials on this, you can, you can also check the this, this description. Yeah. Okay, so in our case here, 
we have x and 2 as the a and b. Let's just go ahead and use the formula. So we will get x minus 2 times a squared. So we will have x squared. And then plus, it says a times b. So in this case, we have x times 2, which is 2x. And then lastly, we have to add 2 squared, which that will give us the 4. And this is because of the 2 squared. 2 squared, that's how we get the 4. Okay. And to continue, we will just have these two terms left, right? And notice, we factored it, these first two terms as this. But for the last two terms, you know, this is very nice because we can also factor these two terms. This is factored by grouping. So here we have a minus. Go ahead and write that down, the minus. Pay attention to 28 and 56. We can factor 28. But since we have the minus from here, so technically we are factoring out a minus 28. And then we are going to get, originally this was minus 28 divided by negative 28, we will have x. And then here is positive 56, divided by negative 28, that's minus 2, that's equal to 0. Now, look at this expression, we have x minus 2 in common, so we can factor this and that out. And then this right here is just write down the left over. So this is from here, and then we also have to write down the minus 28. And then we can work this out a little bit. So this is x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x, and this and that, we get negative 24. As we can see, this is just a regular quadratic. We can factor it regularly. So let's put down two sets of parentheses. To get x squared, we need x times x. Then we have to think about two numbers. They multiply to negative 24. And together, we add up to 2. So the correct combination is what? 6 and 4. But which one is negative? Negative 4, good. So x plus 6, x minus 4. OK, cool. So from here, you can see that. So here are the answers. Put x minus 2 equal to 0, right? So x is equal to 2. Or you can just kind of change the sign. So answers are x equals 2. From here, you will get x equals negative 6. And lastly, you will get x is equal to positive 4. And ladies and gentlemen, that's it.